Welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make trees very easily in Blender 2.6 plus. So to do this we're going to use an add-on called Sapling. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is create a plane here, center it in the middle of your scene. You want to go up here and left click on file, go to user preferences and go to this add-on tab. Now in the add-on tab click in the search bar and type in sapling and just click this box here okay get rid of that now what we're gonna do is press shift A go to curve add tree should appear down here and you see this tree mesh appear like this now we're gonna click the bevel uh, checkbox over here to give the, the mesh more volume and I'm gonna turn this up to 1 and the random seed up to we'll say four. So it's it's even now it's beginning to look like a bit like a tree. So we're gonna go up to setting, branch splitting, and we're gonna turn this levels up to three. And you'll see more smaller branches appear out of the second level of branches that were already there. So we're gonna get base splits a value of one. So there's gonna be a split down the middle of the trunk, and there's loads of settings here you can play with. Uh, to create all sorts of different kinds of trees and shrubs but I'm just going to show you the basics and we go to leaves here and if we click show leaves we'll see it automatically adds in lots of leaves for us which is very very useful it will take a long time to model a tree like this without without a, a plug-in or an add-on helping you. So we're going to go to leaf shape and we're going to set it to rectangular to make it easier for us to UV unwrap. Go to leaf number and we're just going to set 20 to turn down the amount of, the amount of leaves on this tree. Now we're going to set the leaf bend to 0 0.05 so that the leaves aren't all sticking out from the branch and there's a bit of bend to them I suppose. Now next of all what we're going to do is select the um, the leaves here. If we press Z, you'll see. Go into wireframe mode. All of the leaves are selected. If we get out, and what we're going to do is open a new viewport here. From here, we're going to go down and go into the UV image editor. We're going to open a new image. I have a leaf texture that I downloaded from cgtextures.com. It's called Leaf01, whatever blah 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 and now I'm going to go into edit mode on the left hand side I'm going to press U to UV unwrap and I'm going to click follow active quads I press OK and you'll see this box appear so it's UV unwrapped the leaves for us now what we need to do is assign this uh, leaf texture to the leaf uh, material just gonna add in the image texture using a diffuse shader fairly simple click this button and then click leaves here and now if we go into the textured viewport shading we'll see this leaf appear now it's not looking great at the moment but we're gonna fix it so to do this I'm just gonna go on into the UVM image editor select all the vertices, the vertices and rotate it by 90 degrees now what we're gonna do is move this up we're only going to use one side of this leaf. So we're going to line this up and we're going to scale it down like this. And then just align it and you can see on the left hand side it's aligning this leaves, these leaves perfectly. Okay, that will that should do just fine. Um we're not going to be looking at it up close, so it shouldn't really matter that much. Now from here we're going to need to go into the node editor and from here we're going to go into the viewport uh, the shader nodes panel and we're going to add in a transparent shader from this point what we're going to do is remove this come on okay going to add in a mix shader 
like this. And we're gonna put the diffuse. I'm gonna set this to the second shader here. And the transparent up to the first shader. And we're gonna take the alpha from the image texture and set it as the factor amount of the mix shader. Now I'm just gonna set up some lighting in the scene so we can check our results. Scale this up. Set up some uh, environment lighting by using the sky texture, setting the strand to about 0.6. And if we go into the rendered viewport shading, you'll see that we have some leaves appearing, and it's gotten rid of the black outline, the alpha part of that texture, which is perfect. Now, I'm gonna add in some glossiness to these leaves which is very simple to do I'm just gonna add in down here add in a glossy shader I'm gonna put this over here remove this diffuse up and this glossy up I'll just space these out a bit more it'll be fine and we're gonna add in a mix shader so no I don't want that okay yeah that should work okay and then set the diffuse to the top shader of this mix shader set the factor amount to about point zero five just so it has a very slight amount of glossiness to it. Now I think this should this should work just fine. If we go into the render viewport we should be able to see that the leaves have some glossiness added to them. Okay, something's after something's after messing up. Oh if I go out of Okay, let's just fix this now. Hang on. Let's go to the textured viewport. Okay. We we'll figure out what's after happening here. And factory mount is off of that's fine. Set this to uh, point two. What happens? Oh, I flipped it the wrong way. That's what's happened. So, take this transparent shader out. Put the mix shader in the bottom. Input of the second mix shader. Take the transparent and put it in the top. And there's our leaves. Okay, back on track. I'm gonna turn this factor amount back to 0 0.05, so there's less glossiness. And we're far off done now. So I'm just going to solid. Uh, select the the branch part of the tree. And we're going to give it a new material, and it's going to be an image texture. Um. But I downloaded it again from cgtextures.com. It's what's it called now? Bark Deciduous. So, yeah, that will do. And in the vector settings, I'm going to set this to parametric, which seemed to work fine the last time I did it. it gave it a nice wood color. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to maximize this viewport. and add in a plane just for some light rotate this on the y-axis by 90 degrees and bring this up and scale it up and give it a new emission material set this slightly off white and turn the strength up to I'm gonna say 15 so from here if I Press Control Alt Zero. 
can line the camera up. Control Alt Zero and yeah, if we um, render this now, we should get what looks like a uh, a tree. Very quick, simple way to model a tree in Blender. Uh, so I think that's it. You could obviously add some grass in here. You could change the settings. You could duplicate it a few times. You could add a wall. You could do lots of different things. But it's a uh, it's a quick way to to, uh, to create trees. Anyway. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.